So it's an FEI horse, and if it needs veterinary treatment either before an event or at an event, the treating veterinarian must obtain permission from the veterinary delegate before administering a medication. Okay, so that means there's a consultation that's gone on. And then in a, in a real emergency, you can't get a hold of the veterinary delegate, the horse is thrashed in the stall, you just medicate the horse. And then it's either withdrawn the next day or it's not. Okay, um, and then the forms have to be filled. And then what this slide says is if it's being transported, okay, your horse has a trailer goes down, you get it, you have to give it trank to get it back in, it's got some scrapes, you have to sew it up, okay, that all happened on the way to the competition, fine, you know, you've had to medicate the horse, you, you get all the substances down, and then when you get to the horse show, you go find the FEI veterinary delegate, and you ask for a retrospective emergency permission to medicate. You know, they weren't there, obviously. They couldn't give the permission beforehand, so you ask for it to be given retrospectively because these drugs are in their system. There's no question about they're going to test, okay? Um, if you don't think the drugs are going to test and their appropriate time frame has gone by, you don't have to have that discussion with anybody, okay? But if you do think those substances are going to test, and again, that's usually a conversation with your veterinarian, um, then you can go and get this retrospective and sometimes the delegates won't allow it and they'll say no you're you're not competing that horse and they have to have the president of the ground jury sign off on that form so it's it's not always just them being difficult sometimes it's a president of a ground jury who just says nope and often these are Europeans, and they're, again, they're very not used to horses being medicated. And so they said, no way that horse is competing with those drugs in the system. No way. Okay, and then that's the answer. But if they allow you to do that, you get to fill out that emergency permission to medicate, then it's just like a medication form that we talked about earlier. You get tested, those substances are found, you're okay. Okay, so it's very important to understand that, that it can be done that way.